Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Solar and Storage Market Series. My name is Erez Dolev, and I'm uh, the Managing Director here at Trendville. Uh, today, we are going to be hearing from Noam Mula, Business Development for the U.S., and Matan Karmi, Application Engineer at Apollo, about their lightweight, flexible solar panels, mainly for CNI projects. Uh, we also have with us today Kyle Peace, a Senior uh, Engineer at Renvu, to share Renvu's advanced online quote generation tool and show how to create complicated quotes with full bill of materials in just a few minutes. Before we dive in and while we are waiting for more people to join, I'd like to give a little background on Renvu and some of the uh, products and services we offer. Renvu is a US-based solar equipment distributor. We have been in the industry since 2012, and we currently have fulfillment facilities in California, New Jersey, and Texas. Our sales staff all have background within engineering and solar installation. A few products quickly to spotlight here. We have inventory of Ranergy uh, Hyperion solar panels from 405 uh, watt uh, to 575 watt, uh, starting at uh, 15 cents per watt. We offer the full line of solar converters from uh, 5 kilowatt to the 60 uh, kilowatt. We also offer the full line of Fortress Power, Home Grid, Renon, and Soluna inverters and batteries. We have uh, the new uh, Blickier T gasket in 200 feet and 100 feet rolls of uh, one inch, three sixteenths inch, and half an inch of a ga a gap ceiling sizes, uh, which have been very popular recently. We have Lumin indoor and outdoor smart panels on the shelf. This is a solution for uh, avoiding a costly upgrade of your main panel and give you more uh, uh, granular control of your uh, valuable storage. As always, uh, we have a very competitive pricing on end phase microinverters. And of course, we offer the full grow out lineup as well. Email us at info at rainbow.com or see our webinar a follow up email with more info on those. Uh, here is our bulk module price list for large volume of, uh, options and our upcoming offerings uh, of solar modules. We carry Zenshine, Canadian Solar, QCells, Hyperion, Telsun, Solar for America, REC, and more. All our brands are Bloomberg Tier 1. We update uh, it regularly so you can stay up to date with uh, with our largest, uh, latest uh, deals and bulk orders. Now I'll take a minute to also mention the Bleaky res uh, Residential Carport. This is a great way uh, to extend existing solar systems or an alternative solution where you cannot install solar on a roof. And when a customer is looking for more uh, added values. Now I will hand it over to Kyle Peace to go over the online quote generation tool uh, to show you how you can generate a quote in just a few minutes and uh, we'll get started with the webinar right after. All right, thanks, Aris. Okay, hope everybody can see my screen all right there. I'm on the Renview homepage. So to get started with the design and quote tool, make sure that you're logged in. If you don't have an account, there's an option to a register up here. We just need an email to correspond with you and a good shipping address to uh, calculate shipping costs. Once you're logged in, you'll see your name at the top right corner, and then you can come down below the top banner here. This image is hyperlinked and will bring you over to the design and quote tool. On the start page, you can select between a full system or a subset. If you already have one of the components, you can uh, uncheck one of those. Next page is panels. You can choose between residential and commercial options. One of the nice things on this page is that you can see the price per watt metric. So this gives you a good relative idea of the cost between different modules. This is just based on a, a, a one module tier quantity. So that pricing does change uh, depending on your account status and the quantity that you're uh, checking out with. Also keep an eye out for the Apollo Energy modules. We'll probably put those up here as well shortly. Um, after you select your panel, go on to the racking page and choose between different mounting systems. You can select pitch roof, flat roof, carport, ground mount. Under each of these, there's also some sub options. For pitch roof, you can select comp shingle, Spanish tile, flat tile, or metal roof. On the flat roof, you can choose between penetrated and ballasted. Uh, same with the ground mount. And then carport uh, is also kind of a neat option um, that 
Eris alluded to with that Blicker two-car structure. You can also uh, make a tandem structure uh, sharing those columns, um, and you can get a quote for that as well. But I'm going to jump back over to the pitched roof since that's our most popular option. We'll do two rows of seven, and I'm going to bump it over to portrait since that is the most efficient for the racking materials and minimizes the number of roof penetrations for the uh, unit area of the array. And then you can choose your roof attachment style, flash foot two, halo ultra grip, some options there. You'll see your build materials update as you make these selections. If you don't know what something is, you can click on it and it's going to uh, open a new page with that item, uh, any manufacturer documents that may uh, we may have uploaded there as well. So you can learn as you go. It's a, it's, it's a neat tool there. Uh, um, you jump back over to the webinar or the... Okay, back over to the design tool. Um, you can also choose your rail color, clamp color, and the span between roof penetrations, and then the duty rating as well. Then you'll get a little uh, racking array sketch here to make sure that it's uh, what you're expecting. Then once you're satisfied with those selections on the racking page, we'll jump over to the inverters. You can choose between microinverters, optimizers, string inverters. One of the cool things I like about uh, our tool, we get a question all the time, should I go with optimizers or should I go with microinverters? You can compare the relative cost between, let's say a 14 module system with IQAMs versus what if we wanted to look at string inverters with GrowWatt and uh, optimizers as well. You can make those selections and then see uh, the overall cost that you would get uh, between those two options. So a really neat feature there. Uh, also with string inverters, you can choose between single phase and three phase, 208 and 480 volt. You can also uh, add on energy backup or take it off. And then yeah, at the bottom of the page, you'll get your RSD and optimizer options. Once you've selected your inverters, then on the final selection page, you can add spare panels. This is a common issue that we get with folks. After several years, they may have had a, a windstorm or a wayward Frisbee, and they've got a broken panel. It's really hard to find a drop-in replacement, so I do highly recommend getting a few extra. It saves a lot of headaches in the future. Um, you can also add on balance of system components, PV labels. You can add on EV charger. Um, and then once you've made all your selections, hit finish. You'll get uh, your final bill of materials. If you need to make any changes, you can go back, no problem. And then once you're ready to save it, hit generate project, email me a quote. You'll get a email with a PDF and the quote number. You can respond to that email and one of our sales engineers will get back to you if you have any questions, if you need any changes that you weren't able to do on the tool. And uh, we also monitor these quotes as uh, these designs come in in our back end, and we'll look them over proactively, check on availability, uh, any design concerns, and then also if there's any uh, promotions that might be applicable, we'll send those over to you uh, so that you can take that opportunity as well. All right, so that's the design quote tool, and I'm going to pass this over to Nam and Matan at Apollo Energy. Thank you, Kyle. Um, it's, uh, thank you for the opportunity. I think it's uh, great that we're having this webinar and letting people spread the word about Apollo and enabling solar solutions. Um, so I'm going to start by sharing a presentation. So, um, we are Apollo, and as uh, Erez mentioned earlier, Matan is uh, our senior pro project engineer. He will join us as we go to discuss installation. Um, and we'll start with a short video with a teaser um, that will kind of give you the story in, a, in seconds. Um, So what you see or the video are different locations where Apollo um, 
actually enabled solar solutions. And it's not only rooftop, it's also other segments um, such as the trucking industry. And this is what Apollo is all about, letting um, us generate solar energy from any surface under the sun. This is our vision. And we'll be focused today on the CNI segment or any rooftop that is not feasible for a rigid glass solar panels and, and give you more information how we can enable you make more projects um, going. Um, so again, our goal, enabling solar solutions. Um, and, and, you know, solar industry, generally speaking, is very exciting. There is always something new um, since, uh, since solar started. Um, and, but yet we see a lot of rooftops that are still naked. A lot of areas that are exposed to the sun that are still naked. And, and one of the, the major problems that we see with uh, more than 30% of existing rooftops and, and also with new construction is that um, the weight issue of solar panel, it's one of its limitations actually that with this technology um, is an issue. Um, and it, it's, it's an is issue that I'm sure any one of you is a developer um one of the one of one one of the checkbook on the list will be whether or not the the load limit can can bear um solar panels and this is something that we're trying to solve we're trying to take it off the list um because it's it shouldn't be the reason that we don't cover that roof with solar so lightweight solar solution is that enough um, there are many options out there in the market that call themselves themselves lightweight. Um, but the reason the, the issue is or the question is 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 that enough? Um, we saw a lot of products in the semi-flexible industry um, that call themselves semi-flexible, but actually it's just regular solar. And then then um, you see the problems. You see micro cracks immediately after the installation. And by the way, most of them comes very close to the junction box because how they handle the, the solar panels. And you see fire um, in, in a lot of these products um, because flexible by its own is not enough. Um, it's not enough because you know, rigid glass solar panels are out there for a reason. And the reason is to protect the micro cracks and to protect the cell. And if the cell is not really durable, if the cell inside is not, if you don't, if you didn't do anything with the technology of the cell and it's just regular monocrystalline, then you'll get micro cracks and you'll get degradation. And now we'll get to Apollo. And actually, um, so Apollo is, is a company that is already 10 years old. Um, we're already in the stage that it's not an idea anymore. It's everything is out there in commercial on the market. We have the biggest factory in the world for flexible and lightweight solar model. And I'm gonna pause the sharing for a second the share of the screen on my skin for a second, just to, just so you can grasp the idea of the flexibility. So this is an Apollo solar cell, and you can see that it's fully flexible from the inside. It's not just flexible from the outside where the solar panel has different layers instead of glass. It's flexible from the inside. This is where the technology starts. And this is, this is what gives the solar panel its durability and efficiency for long time um, installations. Um, so flexibility is only when it's without break, breaking, right? Um, if it's flexible but breaks, then it's not really flexible. Um, Apollo's solar model, we built them to be something that is relevant for the industry. I mean, if you ever dealt before with uh, the um, other flexible 
uh, or lightweight technology, it never met the solar needs or the industry needs. Um, so our solar panels are rated at 300 watts. Um, its efficiency is a little less than regular rigid glass solar models. But again, we're trying to solve problems or to bring projects where you cannot use rigid glass solar panels. The most important and amazing, and I'm going to say it twice, the most important and amazing thing is its weight, 0 0.7 pounds per square foot. Yeah, you heard it right. Um, it's it's the size of a regular solar model, 40 inch on 80 inch. So, and everything from the solar model to the rest of the system and Matan will share more about it uh, um, very soon is just regular solo installation. So the, the technology starts and end with the, the solar model, but then from there, everything for you as a developer, as an installer, as an owner of the system, everything is the same. You get the same warranty as you get for regular solar models. Um, everything is fully certified and it's actually even more certification than a rigid glass solar model because we apply these solar models with different um, markets, including the heavy duty vehicles and, and marine. And uh, if you saw before, we even have um, um, a solar awning. So we need even more certifications and more, more tests with external labs. Um, so yeah, we have UL for that. We tested it in the best labs, um, independent labs. And if you remember just a few slides ago, I showed you the hell test of the semi-flexible. And now we'll go to a slide where you can see the difference. This is the Apollo difference. So hell test with regular semi-flexible and hell test with Apollo. So first of all, there aren't any micro cracks in the solar panel before it, it it's going out from the from the package um, with the handling it's durable and and you will find it operating amazingly um, from start to beginning and after the hail test you see 0 0.7 percent degradation it's actually absorb the the the, the heats of the the, the hail it's more durable than rigid glass solar panels in that sense, because you can see in the cells that got hit that it's kind of blurry. It, the cell is still operating. It's not fully damaged. Um, while, um, well, I don't have to say much about the other um, test. Um, use cases. So you saw some of them in the video. Um, stadiums. Stadiums have a need for lightweight and flexible technology, not only because their rooftop is usually, um, doesn't have a lot of load limit on it, but also because of its shape. Sometimes they wanna keep the uh, architectural structure of the, of the roof. So, and this is something that Apollo can do and enable without adding um, more structure and more metal and ruin the, the, uh, the architectural idea that they start with. Um, we had installations on greenhouses without adding any additional structure. Um, it's actually a plastic rooftop. Um, warehouses. And warehouses, by the way, it's an issue not only with old buildings, but also with new buildings. Um, if you build a, a warehouse or a terminal today and you want it to be able to um, to hold rigid glass solar panels, the cost on the structure is already the project cost and even more than that. Um, so you don't have to do that invest investment and you can cover any warehouse or any um, place that you have in your facility in, in, in any uh, location without considering the weight issue. Um, you see here more pictures, another curved rooftop, and, and another thing that you see, there, there are different types of surfaces. Um, so it's um, metal roof, bitumen roof. This is what brings me um, to go to our installation method. 
Um, installation methods by Apollo is something that there are many benefits in. Um, there, not only that you don't need any wrecking, it's something that is done very easily comparing to um, traditional solar models. And I want to, um, Matan, I want you to join us here. Um, what what you see here at Apollo is we are um, we are very hands on with projects, and we want to know that we can actually provide a solution to any surface. So when there is a new surface that we need to find the, the right installation method for, um, we go through a very um, comprehensive process. And Matan, would you like to share more yeah. about that? Yeah, of course. So uh, thank you, Nam. Uh, as Noah mentioned uh, earlier, uh, and as you understand from uh, from the use cases presented here, uh, the main installation method of our module uh, is by adherence to the uh, surface. Um, since there are many surfaces, uh, uh, different surfaces require different adhesive. We at Apollo uh, certify our modules um, and our adhesive per uh, installation method per uh, installation surface, where we have a very uh, comprehensive plan for uh, testing the bonding between the module, the surface, and the adhesive, including accelerated aging at uh, humidity freeze chambers and the temperature timber chambers, uh, uh, to give you uh, a clue about uh, uh, the durability of the, the adhesive, it's minus 40 uh, degrees centigrade uh, to plus 85 degrees centigrade. Um, we are doing 1,000 hours of damp heat testing in a, for all of our samples. We test the bonding before and after the uh, curing process and the chamber testing. Uh, all of this to ensure the durability of the uh, bonding between the module to the surface will stay and last uh, as long as the module uh, 25 years of uh, uh, performance and uh, uh, guarantee uh, is lasting. Yeah. So, uh, and, yeah. and I think I think another important thing and benefit um, in our installation metal Matan is, is also um, these tests are, are meant to, to handle the uplift wind. And when Matan says that we ensure that, the, that it will long last, it, it's, it's something to understand how strong and um, yeah. confident we, we Yeah, so we, we take the American Society of Civil Engineers uh, code to wind uplift uh, per 175 uh, miles per hour winds, and we translate that into the strength of the bonding needed to be uh, between the module and uh, the surface. Uh, after all the frustrating testing, we ensure that the safety factor uh, uh, resulted is a decent safety factor uh, per each uh, bonding of module, adhesive, and surface. Yes, and, and we see in most cases that the failure is not with the solar model. The failure with uplift wind is actually um, usually with the surface and, and we get amazing safety factors for four to 10 safe, uh, times uh, over the, the uplift wind of 175 miles per yes. hour. Um, and, and in our installation man and manual, uh, which is yes. very detailed, you will find all the information that you need about how to do it. Um, Matan, would you like to say a few yeah. words? Of course. So uh, as you can see here uh, in this uh, picture, you have a demonstration of uh, installation with uh, optimizers. It's important to know that, that our modules are agnostic to the type of uh, electrical installation, meaning they could be installed with string inverters, with uh, optimizers of any kind. Uh, from the connectors up, uh, the modules uh, are agnostic to the electrical uh, system. 
Uh, so uh, here you can see uh, an example of our modules bonded to a metal roof uh, installed with an optimizer, solar edge optimizers. Um, and you can see how the layout is, uh, is actually uh, uh, done. And you can see that the, the installation is very smooth. There are no uh, um, objects sticking out. The installation is at the roof level. It looks uh, nice from up and it looks nice from, from actually you, you don't see it when you look from the below. One of the advantages of our uh, installation method and modules. Yeah, so so if if Kyle yeah, so uh, the next slide through the through the um to many of the, of um, amazing Renvu products earlier, so this product there is no penetration to the roof. It's a huge benefit, and there is no penetration to the roof. Um, you actually add another layer that protects the roof in a sense, um, and you can see here um, the the workers the, um, putting the paste. It's a paste adhesive for corrugated metal roof. Um, here is a closer look. Um, Matan, I think actually you're here in the picture. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I, I'm in the picture. Yeah, um, the installation is very, very fast. All you need to install the module is uh, to clean the, the surface in the designated areas uh, using a... a a detergent and the water, let it uh, dry a bit, uh, put the uh, right amount of uh, uh, adhesive or use the peel and stick module if it's the uh, suitable uh, surface. We offer yes. this solution as well. And uh, apply the, the adhesive. It's a process that takes uh, about three minutes uh, or two minutes uh, per module. Uh, two men carry the module. Later, you will see uh, uh, a short video of uh, peel and stick installation. Um, press it gently uh, by hand or by a uh, uh, soft roller, and there you have it. Um, yes. That's all. So, so as Matanya mentioned earlier, for any type of, of surface, we certify um, different adhesive. And for some of the surfaces, that we, we found it um, best to use a peel and stick solution. Um, this is what brings me to the next slide, which is actually a video. And in, in I'm going to do um, a little teaser about it. You, you'll see that within less than two minutes, an installation of, of a solar model, this is actually um, Matan guiding another person that yeah. is not trained um, doing it. And still, the installation is very fast and very easy. Um, Matan, you can explain more. It's a project. Yeah, yeah. In sure. France, yeah. Well, here see it's a project in France on a bitumen uh, roof. You can see the uh, the two workers are uh, taking the modules. Uh, our uh, per our guidelines, they lay the, they are laying the modules uh, in a row with the proper spacing. Uh, after they have positioned the module. One of them keeps the modules in place, the module in place, and the other one uh, lifts it up a bit to take the liner of the pillar, uh, to peel the liner. Uh, next, the, the other worker from the other side is doing the same. Uh, again, press it gently with the, by hand or with a soft roller. And they have it here uh, installed in less than two minutes. And I I can note that this this actually this module was their like eighth module in the in a very very large installation. So later they they have even improved in time in the installation times. But uh, this is how uh, an unexperienced uh, worker uh, installed. Yeah, and. Um... So again, within less than two minutes, this entire video is is less than two minutes, um, and and they finished uh, the solar panel, um, and it's for TPO. The the installation is TPO is a very common roof. I you know a lot of you must um, see uh, TPO membranes. So it might be even faster because with TPO we only 
use uh, three stripes yeah. of, of double sided adhesive yeah. and um so it might be even faster for that um yeah so i want to i want to um share a little bit about um the savings that you have in a project level because project level is always more what's important in pricing so as you saw um it's easy to install and you reduce a lot of the labor costs and we saw some cases that was 50 percent of the, the um, re regular labor cost to to install it definitely with the team that is already trained and i'm by the way, if you need any guidance, any help with installation, um, you can always reach out to us. We'll always be happy to um, support you um, with any questions. Uh, another cost that you save is the racking. There's no racking, only adhesive cost. It costs much, le much less than the racking system um, and reduce the logistic cost. I mean, we we if every pallet has 60 panels on it. And sometimes you can even reduce the cost of, of the crane because you can, can actually carry the solar panels up to the roof and you don't need the crane to, to, to take them to the roof. So all of that together um, and what we saw in not in just one project, in many projects is actually that the, the project cost is the same. Although we're not trying to currently compete with rigid glass solar panels. We're trying to bring another solution, another benefits to solve problems uh, and, and to actually save surfaces that are not utilized today for, today for solar panels. Um, the, the cost, the project cost, the LCOE that you will see on the project level will be the same. Um, and then this brings me to the messages that I want you guys to take with you from this webinar. Um, with Apollo, you can do more projects. I mean, it's one of the questions that you have a go, no go at the beginning. Then this question will always be go now because the issue of the weight or the structure of the roof is not an issue anymore. So you as an installer, as a developer, as a owner of assets, you get more projects. Um, there is an added va value with um, Apollo sonar panels. We discussed it earlier, no penetration, less materials, easier on logistics. Um, and the ROI is feasible. I mean, you'll check it uh, for every project. And um, at the end, with the technology, it's already proved it's um, fully flexible from the inside. So the durability and the reliability of the solar panel is amazing. It's not, it, there is a reason that we work with top brands such as Audi, Volkswagen, Amazon, Nestle, Lippert in the US, others, um, because they trust our um, products in terms of safety and, and reliability. Um, after the webinar, what you'll need to go ahead and, and, and start a project is, of course, the data sheet. It will be available through Renvu website as well, installation manual. Um, there are many video clips on our um, YouTube channel that you can you can use and learn from and, and convince your client if you need to. And, of course, a pan file to do the design on Helioscope. It's very easy to do it. Um, and it, it's already bringing inside of it all the features of Apollo in terms of um, the distance between the, the, the rows and um, the, the, the efficiency and everything is calculated there. So please feel free to reach out if you need more information. We are very happy to work with Renvo and bring this product to you guys. Thank you. All right, thank you, Noam and uh, Matan. Thanks, Kyle. Uh, one thing that uh, is important to mention here is that uh, we are going to carry uh, some samples. Uh, so if you need uh, to test the product, uh, we will have it in our warehouse uh, soon and we'll be able to ship them in uh, 
in smaller quantities, just uh, to test on specific roofs, uh, we will have the the one with the adhesive applied to, and the ones without. So um, let us know if you need any samples and want to test it. Um, that's exciting. I think that uh, it's uh, certainly, as you said, Noam, a opening new opportunities uh, for us and for the EPCs uh, to apply products on roofs that not necessarily uh, were able before, like uh, many warehouses are and sports uh, stadiums uh, that were just uh, left without solar. Uh, for many years, this is a great opportunity, even though price might be a little bit uh, more expensive, but uh, but the reduction in uh, in uh, racking materials and labor uh, just cover for the difference. Uh, so congratulations for uh, this product and uh, thanks for uh, letting us uh, carry it. And yeah. So Thank you. if anybody have questions, feel free to email us at info at rainbow.com. Uh, we will get get back to you with uh, 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 with answers as fast as we can. Uh, we will share this video as a podcast and as a, a YouTube video on our channel. And looking forward to, uh, to distribute this product. Thanks. Yeah. I I think I'll jump in here actually with a couple of questions I'm already anticipating from our clients. Um, the MLPEs, does that attach on the front of the panel with an adhesive in this case, or, or I, maybe I missed how that works? The MLPEs, uh, the rapid shutdowns uh, or the optimizers uh, are usually attached to the DC tray. Uh, however, the DC tray is attached to the roof. They, it can be attached uh, with... Uh, uh, you know, with the, the with the roof material, with with adhesive, it can roof with the patches. Uh, so, however, the DC tray is uh, connected, the optimizer or the MLP will be there uh, with it. Okay, and then uh, for the roof attachments, have you experienced any pushback from HJs or their uh, certain? Um, certifications you can present to them to help them uh, with exposure to this type of mounting system? So the, the product is UL certified. Um, and by that, I mean, it's a product that is UL certified as a solar panel designated for um, rooftops. Um, we also did a certification for um, fire tests as well. Um, we have experience. I mean, it's it, it wouldn't be the first time. Um, so everything was done before, and and I think in many ways it's even easier for any authority to to discuss it because it's less materials, less less complicated, no penetration to the roof. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, so thank you very much again, Noam, uh, Matan, and Kyle, and see you later. Bye, everybody. Thank you. See you guys. Yeah. Bye-bye.